Hello everyone and welcome back to today's weapon review. The Wildstar Grenade Launcher has just been released as part of the Seasonal Render Update and its frame type makes it a very unique weapon to use with its ability to fire two grenades rather than one. At the moment, there is only one other weapon similar to this and that is the World of Flight that has a slightly better role to it. However, there has been 50-50 talk about how the weapon perk pool feels slightly underwhelming compared to the many other grenade launcher variants available. So today, we'll go over the pros and cons of the weapon and generally what to look for god lore wise. The Wild Star is a solar double fire grenade launcher that can be gotten from rotational nightfalls. Now while its base form provides a very large velocity speed bump that most other grenade launchers also provide, it provides a decent blast radius straight out of the package. And also its reload speed is quite low which might put a few players off with using it overall. As it does have an adapt form, this will provide a big bonus for those who want to access the exclusive mods it can get access to. Comparing Wildstar with World of Flight, you can see a very noticeable difference between the two and why players prefer the latter. Some of the most noticeable reasonings are, while Wildstar perks offer blinding, incandescent and envious assassin which are pretty amazing perks to have for ad clearing activities, it generally lacks any viable player versus boss perks that players can use freely. World of Flight offers auto loading and vorpal which is generally the golden perks many players tend to sort after for all activities. World of Flight perks are more curated and provides a number of perk combos that players can farm and master with, while style feels very limited in this area with only a small handful being viable. Lastly, while style accessibility allows all players with no DLC to easily get this grenade launcher variant after completing a given nightfall. World of Light requires DLC to unlock. So while Wildstyle does offer some pros to those who want an easy to access and add the grenade launcher and don't care too much about the given perks, it still falls behind the World of Light grenade launcher in terms of overall performance and choice of perks to pick. As World of Light has been around much longer than Wildstyle, it does fail to appeal to the wider audience in terms of why you should get it unless you are after a specific solo grenade launcher with a specific group of perks. So the main draw to wielder in PvE is its auto load and holster and vorpal weapon, the two perks that can help with damage phases when you have a set rotation in place to maximise its damage. Unfortunately, Wildstyle doesn't feature these traits or any traits even close to them. It does however feature Incandescent which can work out well for a well curated solar build or surrounded which will give you a 35-40% to damage buff when surrounded. This of course will vary from time to time, so generally let's take a look at the key god roll perks to farm for now. Launcher Barrel, Quick Launch, Magazine, Disorientating Grenade or Spike Grenades, Perk 1, Envious Assassin, Danger Zone and Enlightened Action, Perk 2, Incandescent and Surrounded, Masterwork, Reload. While Wildstyle can't top the ultimate meta pick that World of Light has, Attempting to get as close as possible or even similar to the weapon will allow the following to be useful in areas that the latter fails in. Quick launch and reload masterwork are all no brainers since velocity is the most important stat to have here and its reload speed is very very low compared to others so increasing it is also viable. Blinding and spike allows the weapon to branch off into two variants if players want to try out different playstyles so that's a pro as well. Envious Assassin, Danger Zone and Enlightened Action is a clear choice for general gameplay as Envious Assassin will increase how many rounds are in your base weapon. Danger Zone allows you to use your grenade launcher as a sort of shotgun instead and pairs well with spike or blind nades and Enlightened Action will improve the weapon's performance as you generally play so you don't need a lot to activate it. For the final column, Incandescent and Surrounded both have their usages when used against minor enemies and bosses but how you use them will vary on the perk combos. Blinding, Danger Zone and Incandescence makes a rather interesting combo with being able to blind and scorch enemies in one go while also reducing the amount of damage you take from it as well. Such a combo is great to use in endgame content as you can control the feel rather easily with this and the chain reaction of your Incandescent going supernova will allow the weapon to excel in ad clearing in a variety of ways. Surrounded with Spike Nade and Danger Zone also offers the same method as well but will allow players to take on mini bosses to bosses a bit more easier whether they are up close or from afar. 
Applying the Adept Big Ones will also enhance the damage more and overall make it a powerhouse as long as you meet the given requirements. So while Wild Style is nice and affordable when they launch their own if you ever want to own the 2 battle type, its purple however leaves much to be desired as it doesn't offer a huge amount of items for players to pick and customize with when compared to Wield of Flight. It's quite tragic as if the purple had more better and all rounder perks to pick that would be viable for all content that I can 100% see this becoming a must have for players. Since that is not the case, the weapon would be more of a trophy weapon to own and use every now and then, but I don't see this becoming meta over time. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub while here. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.